There's certainly a hodgepodge of decisions out there tonight. The school boards have been holding emergency meetings with their attorneys, trying to decide which way they want to go on this issue, and knowing that no matter what they do, the mandate could still be reinstated if the governor, as he has vowed to do, is able to get the TRO overturned on appeal. Masking rules are changing across the state tonight as hundreds of public school districts and countless private schools grapple with what they can and can't do. In light of a Sangamon County judge's decision that ruled Friday, the governor's mask mandate inside school buildings is illegal. Now is not the time, from my perspective, to be uh, reducing our mitigation strategies. While the governor has vowed to file an expedited appeal, many are not waiting for the legal wrangling to be over. Chicago Public Schools says it will continue masking amongst its students and staff. So will U46 in Elgin. The state's second largest school district will exempt a handful of students whose parents were part of the lawsuit, but that's it. Based on the wording of the temporary restraining order, we believe we still have that authority to enforce mask wearing as part of our, our local mitigation efforts. Um, and again, in addition to that, the, the collective bargaining agreements that we have that also compel us to provide a safe environment for our employees to work. Many others have moved swiftly to lift the mask mandate, some saying they will continue to strongly encourage their use, others that these decisions should be made at home. We believe that we can achieve this. We're seeing it done in so many places. Tens of thousands of schools across the country have been mask optional all year long. Also going mask optional are large suburban public school districts across the area, including those in Schaumburg, Elmhurst, Arlington Heights, Barrington and Wheaton, where Shannon Lemjuko has two elementary school grade children who she says will continue wearing their masks. I'm upset. I think it's the wrong call. This is a real decision that's affecting parents tonight as they're sitting at home thinking, should I send my kids to school tomorrow? And it's not just parents that are grappling with that decision. District 181 in Hinsdale and Clarendon Hills will be going remote learning tomorrow, while districts in Geneva and St. Charles canceled class altogether as their respective school boards decide how to move forward. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.